Greetings. This will be a short video between videos about this rather unusual gadget here, a Meccano model of the Eiffel Tower. Meccano is a mechanical model construction system originally conceived by Frank Hornby in the UK city of Liverpool in 1898. In 1901, it was patented and sold under the name Mechanics Made Easy, and by 1908, it became known as Meccano. Meccano consists of reusable metal strips, plates, angle girders, wheels, axles, and gears, as well as flat plates that are connected together using nuts, bolts, and set screws, known in the UK as grub screws. Although Meccano has always been seen as an engaging toy, it was envisioned from the start as a way to teach engineering and mechanics through play, as seen on this old box top from a Meccano set of the 1920s. While the Meccano system was based on the central principles of engineering, the focus was often on the famous pioneering constructions of the era, such as the mighty bridges and towers of the day. The Eiffel Tower was possibly the greatest of these. There have been several Meccano models of the Eiffel Tower made over the years, like this 40 cm or 1.3 foot one, or this 62 cm or 2 foot one, but none of them seems to be as large or as mechanically interesting as this one, which stands at approximately 180 centimeters, or 6 feet, and unlike the other models, has these neat little elevators that really do move up and down, powered by an electric motor by way of this cleverly designed gearbox. This particular model was factory built to be a display model, a spectacular illustration of the capabilities of the Meccano system. I'm not sure when this model was built, but I know my family picked it up at some point in the early 1980s at a store that was closing out Meccano, as the brand was in retreat at the time. This gearbox is in many ways similar to a car transmission. The input shaft is driven by a chain, which is connected to the electric motor. All of the drive gears are the same size as the driven gears, so they always have a one-to-one -one drive ratio. The output shaft is shifted back and forth by a lever connected to the worm gear by way of an axial gear, which is kind of hard to show. At one end, the output shaft connects directly to the input shaft by the two larger gears. At the other end, it connects to a reverse gear situated in between the two shafts, making the elevators go up and down one way and then the other. A clutch mechanism on the drive axle allows some slippage for those times when the elevators reach the ends before the gears disengage. While this model is obviously not a 100% accurate representation of the real thing, it is still a fascinating thing to watch, especially if you are a kid, and the flashing lights are neat too. Thanks for watching.